Rachmiet, Sadan Kudai, Rachmiet, Kudai, Yem, Isel Shan, Rachmiet, the Pied, Slaviska, Jet, Yasinion, Vietniska, Jet, Yabaka, Blacadaria, Tamusto, Nantan, Iaora, Digal. testing, pricking 14s with large sterile needles coming in identical boxes, drawing samples of blood to test for the gene that causes G14L11 disease, and this afternoon, the 19s will be confused pulling up to the curb in ambulances, rushing inside handfuls of fives who are cursed with the fact that they rode the one bus driven by a prehuman. Laura 19 will be in charge of the gurney carrying the prehuman, and as she goes to tie a disposable white mask around her face, she will think about the letter she will write to the city and their illogical decision to let a prehuman operate such an advanced piece of machinery. 
And Malcolm Stroyetsky will be busy lying there, looking up at her. And he will see in her eyes something familiar, as if he had seen them before, only to slip back into unconsciousness. On the second floor, Laura will pass Malcolm's gurney off to Jeremy too, RN, who will quickly assess the body to see if surgery is the most optimal solution. If not, he will run some tests to see what specific problems Malcolm has, and while Jeremy too, RN, is skeptical that a solution will be found, <coughs> stupid prehuman, he hopes that the results will be interesting enough to research later. But the machine will be running slow today, and so Malcolm, Jeremy too, RN, will shove Malcolm's body into the anteroom. In the anteroom, Malcolm will regain consciousness, and with a broken fibula and a growing fixation on the 19's eyes, he will focus on his newfound obsession. And as the anti-memory capsules work his way out of his bloodstream, he will be free to visit the one place the world has tried to regulate and medicate out of him, his memory. Deep, deep down, he will travel until he finally comes across the right one. It was formed almost 30 years ago, just before the evolution, back when he was young and had one more hour to spend with Karen. Malcolm wouldn't have guessed it would have been the la their last time together. They were too busy being into each other, always giving each other little glances, always sneaking in little touches. He and Karen would stand next to each other on her old backyard porch to talk about anything and everything, like Karen's desire of what life would be like if he, she joined the circus, or how Malcolm talked about his fear that he may very well lose his mind. Karen would then go on to say how she wouldn't care if he went crazy, and that she would still be standing there with him till the end of time. Karen will then lead him by the hand into the grassy field behind their porch, where she will attempt a handstand, only to fall flat on her back. Malcolm will then lie down next to her and interlock his fingers with hers, and while staring into Karen's eyes, the two of them will be frozen in time, or at least until the gray men came and raided the house, taking Karen with them, claiming she contained some of the sequences necessary to create a better world. <clears throat> Malcolm will try his hardest to cling to the last sensation he felt from her, the softness of her fingertips slowly slipping away from his as the gray man picked her up and put her in the van. Soon Malcolm will return to consciousness again. He will cry. Meanwhile, Jeremy too, RN, having just received the tests, will come in, give Malcolm the once over, make a joke about how pre humans are able to cry, and return to more important things. Malcolm, on his deathbed, will wonder what the world has come to, and he will be gone. And tomorrow morning, at the hospital, the Elevens will be perfectly willing to accept that fluorohexaproseline was inefficient as an anti-inflammatory and an anti-carcinogen. And Eights will go about their day working, questioning, testing, pricking sixes with large sterile needles coming in identical boxes.
this bitch is my side. I think it's very fire. You rock around, that's right, on time. You're drinking, 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 you're drinking